Hi guys, so it is Sunday after our trip and we have had all day today to kind of do maintenance on ourselves getting things unpacked to getting the house back hey, in order hey. we slept in until eight o'clock i think we got out of bed about nine o'clock and then the kids kind of played and then i got them kind of situated a little bit and then i started unpacking and i cleaned up because all the little stuff needed to be put away makeup products toys all that kind of stuff needed to be put away and i also got all of the merch that we bought set up there's not very much of it but i got it all set up and then oh we gave the kids a bath each they each had a bath so that took a while um we just did a thorough because we've given them like little showers and stuff at the on the trip but gave them a full head to toe like cleanse um, so that did take a while and then we headed out around two o'clock and i went and got my garage door opener my house key for my mom and gave her a chance to say hi to my mom because he's been missing his grandma's so he did that and then we went over to target and got a few baby items baby food items like mac and cheese and that kind of stuff and then we just shopped around there a little bit let the kids look at toys kind of feel more like their routine because we go there so much it's like part of the routine and then we went over to goodwill again give them some familiarity it was good for us too but I think it helps the kids transition back just to get back to doing stuff that we normally do. Um, so it was nice to get out today just a little bit, but my feet hurt so bad halfway through Target, so I kind of had to, had to just get out of there. We didn't stay too long, and then we went over to Red Robin and had like a lunch dinner, and that was really good. It was super quiet because today was the Super Bowl, so we kind of had the restaurant to ourselves a little bit and that was super nice nice way to end the vacation and then we ran over to trader joe's and got a few groceries so now we're home it's eight o'clock and i just want to do a quick haul of all the stuff we got from disneyland because tomorrow morning is monday and i am actually taking the day off because i i just am not in the right mindset honestly right now to go back to work and I'm really glad that I'm taking that extra day just to get my mind a little bit more centered because I feel good from the vacation but at the same time kind of drained so I'm glad that I'm gonna have tomorrow to just chill and so that's why I want to film this now so that tomorrow I don't have to worry about any of it I can just put the stuff away and start fresh for the week um, so Tuesday I go back to work and then it's back to the old grind and Mama, I don't just I know and then just for a reference Rory's getting a bottle ready for um anyways so just for reference for later we already know when we're going back to Disneyland because it's one of our favorite things it's one of our favorite places to go and there's going to be little vacations here and there during the summer this year and probably next year, but so yeah, we need something to look forward to is my point. Like, yes, we'll go on little things here and there, but we need like a, an end goal, a big main goal vacation to look forward to, to keep us going, to keep us positive, to keep us looking ahead, trying to just be optimistic about life, I guess is the, the main point here. So we already decided that. We're gonna go to Disneyland in September of 2021. So it's February 2020 right now, and then we have a whole year, February 2021, and then that following September. So a year and a half, basically, um, we'll go to Disneyland. Rory really wants to go for Halloween, so already planning ahead, already looking forward, and I'm gonna start budgeting and planning that. And I'm probably not going to do too much in depth right away, but I'm start. I'm going to start thinking about it because yeah, I love to plan things. So I'm already planning for the next one. Dan wants to squeeze in another trip, just the two of us. We'll see if that happens or not. But um, for sure, we're taking the kids 2021 for Halloween, September right after Halloween um, starts at Disneyland. So that's what we're going to do in the future. But let's just go over what we did this trip. Um, we got a few things. I tried not to go overkill. Honestly, the reason why is because 
we did not have very much space in our suitcase. We did not have space to buy a lot of stuff. We could only buy a few things. So we could have bought a few more like clothing items easily. I could have fit that in my little uh, satchel thing. We also didn't really have a lot of time. So we did totally good on time. Like we made it to the airport at like five o'clock and which our plane leaves at 7.30 and the security line was very short and very quick. So we did great for time, but um, we were shopping from two o'clock until four o'clock. So we only had two hours to shop. So that's not enough time for me to shop at Disney. Like that's not enough time. I just got the stuff that I had already planned on or the stuff that I um, saw and wanted to get, but mostly it's just stuff we already planned on. So let's get into it. So I'll start with this item. This is a park sign Mickey and Minnie ornament. We actually bought this when we took Rory. I might have mentioned this in a Christmas vlog that I did, but I actually kind of broke it. So Dan was like, hey, why don't we just replace it now? That way we don't have to feel sad about it later when we don't have it or when the other one is broken. So we tried to glue it together, but just in case, we just got a new one because this was like one of our favorite ornaments. So I love it. I'm glad we bought it. I have no regrets there. It was about $20, so got that. Yes. Rory picked out this one. Yes. He wanted to get his for name his. Is Jack ornament. And I'm going to put it in the box. Okay. Uh, with the main one. With this one? Yes. Yeah. So and Rory I've picked, he really he really wanted this with, when, as soon as he saw it when we were in the Haunted Mansion store at Disneyland. He wanted to buy it. So yeah. I told him I would think about it. And, and then. He got a Spider Man bobblehead. Yeah. yeah. And then when we went over to World of Disney, we saw it. He found it. He wanted it again. So and I was like, okay. I and I don't know where the CBBO's at, but he's missing. Oh, but okay. That's why I had to find him in a minute. So we got those two. And then so, I found this one. This is a Starbucks so mug. So we got... Um, I really like it. I have several of the Starbucks ornaments already. Because, you know, like, we live in Seattle area. So, I mean, I want to get one of these mugs. I would have bought one if there was more room in my suitcase, but... I was just worried about room and since I know I'm going back in two years or a year and a half I was like I'll just get it later so um, yeah it's kind of bummed but at least I got this one's tiny little ornament and it's definitely a welcomed addition to our house Dan really loves it too so yeah we like this ornament keeping it forever Rory got some Legos at the Lego store so he got yes. a spider-man set you want to say it? Yes, so I bought Spider-Man, and we're going to find him in a minute. Do you want to go find him? Yes. Go find him. Let's go find, let's go find it together. Well, I got to go through all this stuff. So while you're looking, my brother asked me, my brother Ben, he um, makes coffee. Maybe we'll put him in a minute. Okay, he works at, at Starbucks, and I brought him a chip mug from Beauty and the Beast last time I went. And we got and a And he said, will you please bring me another mug? I love the mug you got me. Please bring me any mug. I just want a mug from Disneyland. So this is the one I chose for him. Um, I hope that he likes it. I, I know that my brothers both love Alice in Wonderland. It has some really cute sayings on it. Um, I think he's going to like it. It When I looked at it, I, saw, I thought of him. So I'm pretty sure he's going to like it a lot. So yeah, I got him that one. I love the handle. I'm kind of a mug snob, so... Yeah, I love the handle, I love the colors, I love the sayings. Yeah, it's a cute mug. So I'm gonna give my brother that. Um, we got a few buttons, so Dan got this button for free. Um, and we from yeah. or mobile ordering our ice cream at Gibson Girl. So that was kind of a cool keepsake that he got. And we got a jacket. What's that one? That says happy birthday Rory. Yeah. Because it's, it's Rory's birthday is February 11th, so we thought yeah. We'd but I didn't get a birthday cake yet, but I had to wait. <laughs> I bought you birthday in. cake at Disneyland, remember? We sang to you. I know. But we're going to get you a birthday cake on your actual birthday, yes. Is it going to be Spider-Man, like my shirt? Anything you want. Anything you want, baby. Maybe it's a Spider-Man. Okay, can I see the button? Yep. 
So we picked Friday, that was our last day at Disneyland, to have Rory wear this in the park. And everybody that he saw saying, said happy birthday to him. It was a very sweet little thing for him to be able to experience. So that's a nice little keepsake. Mm -hmm. I also grabbed, this was a dollar at the Ghirardelli shop. I love the Ghirardelli, it's like my favorite kind of chocolate. So I went there several and times got and got coffee. Candy. So I got that. So we got some candy. It's nice. Yeah, Rory had lots of fun picking out candy at the Candy Palace. Yeah, his we got it's some. Name, it's his name Gum. Neapolitan. Its name is Gum. Some strawberry. Yeah, it's named Gum because it looks like it. And cotton candy. Look at this. This one was blue, blue, watermelon. Blue, 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 blue. So. He had fun picking out that taffy. Yeah, but it was gross, but I had to get it. And after we went on the Pixar Pal around, yeah, Rory really wanted this. a lollipop because he yeah. saw Bing Bongs. So I took him over to Bing Bongs and we bought a pack of lollipops. This is the only one left because they ate the other ones. But he had these the last time we came too. So that was nice. And then he wanted Skittles. I don't know where he got that from or where he, where that idea came from, but this was the closest thing I could find to that. So the kids have eaten almost two bags. This is all that we have left. We bought another bag that they ate and then a second bag. So they loved these. So we got a Ola thing. Oh yeah, show me. Rory picked out a pin while we were there. Yeah, and we might have placed it, but it's not eating. It's just a pin. Yep, it's this. Rory it's picked this one. I tried to have some self-control. There was like five pins that I wanted, but I just got this one. This was my favorite one, I think, because I like the glittery castle in the background. And Ariel is my favorite princess, so I went for this one, and I don't have any regrets about it. Um, I think it was 12 bucks or 10 bucks somewhere around there. I got... So there's a blue one and a red one. I gave the red one to my mom. I cannot find the blue one. I'm planning on keeping either the blue one or the pink one probably. And then the other three I will give away to two of my coworkers that have been working for me while I've been gone. And then I thought Dan's mom would like one. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. I gave one to my mom, one to Dan's mom, and then my two coworkers. So then one for me. They came in a pack of five for 15 bucks, so that was a really good deal. I just want to get a little gift without spending a bunch of money. I could have went the route of getting like a pin for each person, but that would have been like $10 a person. So I thought this was more affordable and easier to get in my baggage and everything. I also snagged a bag of the Main Street popcorn, the churro flavored popcorn. Um, yeah, I picked this up in Marceline's, I'm pretty sure. When we were on our way out, I was like, oh, I don't want to leave without that. I just want at least one little snack to bring home to remember by. Um, so, yeah, I got this. And this will probably last a good month, I would say. Just a few at a time. A few little popcorns at a time. And uh, it's actually really good. I already tried it. It's really, really good. So, like that. And then on that note, I also got a bag of the Mickey coffee. I got the classic blend last time, so I haven't had this one yet. It actually got, like, compressed from the airplane. I don't know what happened, but it, yeah, there's no, like, air in it. It's strange. So anyways, um, this will be good. As soon as we're done with our coffee over there, I'll get this out. I love, 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 love Disney coffee. It's, like, one of my favorite things. It's Mickey's really swell coffee. It's so good. So, yeah, I dream about this stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to put that up, and we will definitely use this up quick. I thought it would be nice to have something for the kitchen. I've never bought hand towels there, but um, I'm trying to be a little bit more purposeful and useful with the stuff that I buy. So, that was kind of why I was like, hey, why don't we get some hand towels? I'm sorry, Luna is playing with the Buzz Lightyear gun in the background. Um, I just think it's really beautiful. And yeah, I like it a lot. So the castle, and then this one has castle and then a print on it. I'm not sure. Happy, Happily ever after. I don't know what exactly it says. And then 
where where magic lives so I do really like this a lot I'll probably buy more in the future if these hold up really well so I love decorative hand towels so this was a good purchase I don't know how much it was so, even. Rory got a aerial bubble blower and the reason why I bought this is because um, my mom gave us extra money to spend on the kids when we went so I was like well I have extra money he really wants one so I went for it this was 30 bucks if you would believe it I I would not normally spend 30 bucks on a bubble blower but he really wanted it. I had the extra money so I let him get it and it um, they're actually really good quality it has like, music lights and then you can do bubbles and music or just music and then the bubbles go on the bottom and it's super nice and we'll probably bring it the next time we go so that's good and again grandma gave extra money so dan's mom so that one was from my mom this one was from dan's mom she wanted brewery to get i'm sorry this thing can you help me we found out that they were gonna have this in the park when we went and Dan's mom wanted to get Rory a birthday gift that was from the park that was Jack Skellington because Rory loves Jack Skellington. So she gave us money to buy this for Rory before we went and we were kind of worried that they weren't going to have it anymore because Christmas and Halloween is over. But they still had it at the French market so that's where we picked it up for about 20 bucks. It's so huge but I honestly don't think Rory will ever get rid of it unless he suddenly doesn't like Nightmare Before Christmas anymore. Um, I think we're gonna keep it forever because it's like a Disney Parks souvenir. Like, we're probably never gonna get rid of it. <laughs> so we also grabbed a whole bunch of churro toffee. Um, I got six of them, I gave one to my mom already, and then I have, I'll probably give a few to my coworkers, Dan's mom, and then maybe a few other people. Um, so I have that, and I already started eating some. It looks like that. It's really, really good. Yeah. So while we were over in Galaxy's Edge, um, they just started selling the spork. I don't know if you guys knew about the spork. They had these for people to use to eat with in galaxy's edge when the parks when the park first opened but people stole them like they got they just started going missing so they got pulled from the shelf and were no longer being offered the only thing you could use was just like real silverware to eat with but this week right before we went they started selling these for eleven dollars in the park you, it's like limit one per customer um, so as soon as I saw that on Instagram, I knew that I was going to be getting one of these for Dan. So he, I thought he knew, but he didn't know. So I bought him this when I bought the Mustafarian roll and I brought it to him and he was surprised. So that was kind of a neat little surprise to give him this spork. And it came with a cute little pouch with the weird lingo on it. And then it says, um, Galaxy's Edge on it. So definitely a keepsake and then we had planned on this one we wanted to get the yub nub from Oga's Cantina and that's the only drink we got it was a $45 drink and I have no regrets here either like it was totally worth it it was a good drink but I mean this mug is just everything so we really really love it I'm sorry I can't show you all of it but you get the idea Dan really wanted to get this. Is it a mouse or what is it called? What is mouse it? droid. A mouse droid, a popcorn bucket. When they first started selling these in Galaxy's Edge, right after Galaxy's Edge opened, well, Dan I wanted the Millennium Falcon. Dan wanted this when the when it first opened, and then they released um, a Millennium Falcon popcorn bucket, and also they released a Tie Fighter popcorn bucket, but. So we were thinking about getting the Millennium Falcon one, but they, they sold out in like less than a week of the Millennium Falcon one. So we went for this one and we were actually surprised to see it because we weren't seeing any more advertisements for it because this one came out when Galaxy's Edge opened. So 
that was cool. And we got this, I think, for like 10 or $15. And the popcorn was very delicious. We ate all of it. So, yeah, that was a good keepsake. And it's not too big. So it fit in the suitcase without any problems. And then the last thing that we got in Galaxy's Edge is this little coin. It's called a Spiria coin. It came in this little sleeve thing. And it's just this little, like gold coin it's kind of cool and it has it's a gift card so it had money on it Dan put money on it and we used it so yeah that's really cool um, so that's everything we got in Galaxy's Edge we were going to do the droid depot and make a droid but we opted not to because Galaxy's Edge honestly was so overcrowded because of Rise of the Resistance that we just ended up leaving and not spending the whole time there um, that we had planned on because it we stood in line for a long time trying to get on a uh, smuggler's run. Rory was having tantrums and we just couldn't we just couldn't handle it any longer so we just ended up leaving because it was too stressful but we will definitely go back and right on Smuggler's Run when we get a chance and yeah I don't know we did what we could and I think that we got a good start and it's not like it's going anywhere so we'll get to experience it more later so I also got a few shirts I got this I Live in Fantasyland shirt I wanted an I Live in Fantasyland shirt the last time we went and I'm glad that I got one this time it's just the pink with the glitter it's really pretty Dan helped me pick it out so I had I there was like five different t-shirts I was looking at getting and he was like you should get this one so this is the one I got and then again I had planned on getting this one this spirit jersey as soon as I saw it I was like that's the one I want because it's black I like to wear dark colors and black and all that it's understated I just I'm, I can't get on board with all these bright colors so I really like the black and I love the gold metallic bronze they got going on here I really really like it so was able to pick this up and of course I really wanted a shirt that said Disneyland Resort on it so this checks all the boxes for me um, and then it has this kind of like bronze splatter paint look on the bottom of it so yeah I really really like this and I'm probably gonna wear it a fair amount Especially because it's very cold here. Um, yeah, so the front has this symbol on it. I like it. And it's super thick. Um, so I've never owned a shirt like this. I've never owned a spirit jersey before. It's like fitted on the bottom and then it's big on the top. So usually I wear like a large, but because of the way that the shirt is, um, I went for the tighter fit, mostly because this is the only size they had. They had small and extra small, and they didn't have medium large or extra large. So I got the small because it actually fit just fine. It's just more fitted on the bottom, and then it's really baggy in the top. Whereas if I had gotten a medium, it would have been baggy all the way around. So we'll see how it goes. And I think it's gonna work out fine because it's cotton. So it's not like I'm gonna be too constricted or anything like that. So I'm excited to get this in the wash and start wearing it. So the last actual souvenirs that we got were these droids. This is the one that Dan made. It's like a Sorcerer's Apprentice kind of droid. Um, it's really cool. Dan loves making little droids at, in the Star Trader, so we made sure to stop and do that. And then this is the one I made. This is the one I made, so it's just a purple one. I love purple. So, yeah. We had so much fun making these. It was $20 for two of them, so we went ahead and did that together. So that's it for all of the souvenirs we got, and then I just have a little pile of stuff that's just like keepsake. I'm gonna put it in my keepsake file area that I have. I just kind of like, I keep everything. I keep more than I should probably, but it's just for memories and sentimental value. So I have hotel key from Disneyland, di from Disneyland Resort right there that you get to keep because it has your name like printed on it. And then that was from the Lego store and then our hotel key from Howard Johnson. I don't know how this ended up 
with us, but we have that too. And then I have some fast passes. There's one for World of Color, Splash Mountain. Got a sticker from the Baby Center. And more fast passes, Radio Springs and Soren fast passes. And then I got some coasters. These ones came from Lamplight Lounge. So there's a Lamplight Lounge coaster like that. And then there's an alien one. And then a couple receipts. Just I might end up throwing stuff like that away, but I'm just keeping it right now. I threw away most of the receipts, but I just kept a few. And then this was, um, there was a place where you could put a wish. So you write down your Lunar New Year wish, and then you hang it on a chain. It was really cool. So I took one of the cards just for memories. Um, and then also I took two coasters from the Disneyland Hotel because we stayed there. So those are so cool. I love these coasters. And then I got some coasters from Oga's Cantina when we went. So there's one. Mama, has, do you saw a bug? There's this weird creature on it. And then another one with an Ewok. I like them. Oh, Luna got a little magic wand from a little girl when she was standing in line for Elsa. It was so cute. And I visit Anna and Elsa, but Olaf wasn't there because he's at home and sleeping, but he's going to come out tomorrow. Okay. And Jack. Okay. But I will spend my Lego Jack because I'm going to spend a minute. Okay. This was a fortune that Rory got over by the Pirates of the Caribbean ride from one of the little automatic machines. That was really cool. And there was a pirate lady. Um, her name was Red. She was there um, doing pictures and stuff. And she helped Rory with the fortune. So that was such a cute little um, memory. So I'm keeping that for sure. And then these are our wristbands that we got from the Howard Johnson. I don't know. I might throw these away, but who knows? Maybe they're a good keepsake. So I kept those. And this was the coloring sheet that Rory was coloring on at Lamplight Lounge. I just thought it was cute. His little drawings and stuff. So I kept that. And same thing, the Carnation Cafe. The kids were actually more focused on eating while we were there. The food was so good at the Carnation Cafe. So the kids were more focused on eating, but I kept the coloring sheet anyways just because I like it. So yeah, did that. And then a bunch of park maps. So maybe I'll give these to the kids when they're older. And then I have extras. So I have three of the California Adventure ones. They've got the Lunar New Year stuff on them. Very cool. And yeah, some of the Lunar New Year food listed. And then, of course, the whole map. It's going to change a lot soon because as soon as Marvel Land opens, this is all going to be filled in. I think it's a good keepsake to keep the park map at least. Um, see if I can figure out how to close it. There we go. So that, and then. They have a little insert that's just a California Adventure Lunar New Year insert. It has all the events listed. Oh, and then there's the Disneyland side. So, super minimal because there's just not a lot going on right now. The most that's going on is all Lunar New Year themed. And then Disneyland is pretty minimal as far as events go. Um, we actually did not get to see either one of these events. We just saw that one. So, that's okay. I've seen Fantasmic more than once. Um, but this one, I want to see Magical Map at some point. Maybe next time. We'll have to see. I thought this was a cool keepsake. It's a guide to how to get a boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance. So, I mean, this is going to be interesting to look at later on down the road when the whole system changes. Or who knows, maybe it'll never change. We'll see. And then the Disneyland guide map. It's got, what does it have? Okay, so we've got random stuff. So some stuff from Star Wars Land, Beast Pastrami Burger, and then it's trying to get people to do Max Pass more. 
So I don't know. I love looking at these park maps like years later and just seeing how different Disneyland is now than the uh, one from last time we went. Yeah, because so every time we go, it's different. So yeah, I like to keep these just for that. There's two more that I took. And then I also have a map from Howard Johnson to help us get around there. A map from Disneyland Hotel to help us get around there. And then we also got this list of activities from Disneyland Hotel because they offer other activities while you're there. Um, and then, oh, I probably will throw this out, but it's just a little bag that they gave us in California Adventure when we bought a kid's meal. I thought it was cute. I don't know. So much work into a, just a paper bag. And then this was just a little, like, leaf. It was confetti in the um, Disney Junior dance party it was so cute and then the last thing i have here is just the sleeve that our disneyland hotel key came in and i just think it's so pretty they cover every little detail i swear every detail is so nice and then i just have the few receipts that i saved inside there and that's it. That's everything from Disneyland. Sorry, it's all messy now. Okay, guys, so that is it. I know that took a really long time, but I just wanted to document the stuff that we got this time around because this was really momentous for us. Like, this is the most time we've been able to spend at Disneyland in years. The last time we went, I was pregnant with Luna. Rory was a baby and he was hard to handle. We only went for two days, so we didn't really have a full trip to Disneyland last time because it was kind of hectic and hard. But this was our first time actually getting to go and spend the full week there. So I made some really good memories. I know Rory made Rory made really good memories. Luna won't remember it, but I know she had a really good time, and I'm hoping that um, the Disney magic has been implanted in her mind deep in there um but anyways that's how that went and thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later bye